Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Wednesday in the 32nd week of Ordinary Time. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today continues to be from Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus travelled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, ten lepers came to meet him. They stood some way off and called to him, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Now as they were going away, they were cleansed. And finding himself cured, one of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, and threw himself at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. This made Jesus say, were not all ten made clean? The other nine, where are they? It seems that no one has come back to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, stand up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we hear the Gospel about the cure of the ten lepers, of which only one we hear, and that's the Samaritan, an enemy of the Jews, thanks Jesus. Gratitude, like service yesterday, is another typical theme in Luke. And we are challenged by Luke to, get, to live with gratitude and to praise and thank God for everything God has blessed us with. We're told in the gospel that Jesus is passing through Samaria to Jerusalem. So he is, in fact, in an area that is not predominantly Jewish. And this would have brought great excitement to Luke's communities, which are mainly in pagan territory. We also keep in mind that a leper was a person who was excluded, marginalized, despised. They had no right to live with their family and they had to wander around in torn clothes, calling out, unclean, unclean. To be cured meant they could be integrated back into the community. So with faith in Jesus, they are sent to the priests who will, who will witness that they have in fact been cured. The Samaritan who comes back and thanks Jesus, represents the person, like in yesterday's gospel, who is a humble servant of God. The Samaritan, then, is a model for us of gratitude and love towards others and towards God. For my personal reflection today, do I sincerely say thank you to others? When I pray, do I say thank you to God? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. <clears throat> thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. 
Till then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone.